If the indication of this news is true, I'm getting Sega flashbacks from 2001 when the iconic Japanese game publisher dropped out of the console wars to become a third-party publisher for former competitors Sony PlayStation 2 and Nintendo GameCube. Recently, news broke that Microsoft has plans to support their exclusive titles Starfield, Redfall, and even the upcoming Indiana Jones games to PlayStation 5, followed by an announcement by Microsoft Gaming CEO Phil Spencer via Twitter, uh, I mean X platform, referencing a business update event held for next week. This leads to speculation that Microsoft is waving the white flag and may abandon the hardware business after 23 years. If true, it would be a devastating blow to Xbox gamers, who would feel a sense of betrayal after investing money on both the series consoles and, of course, the compatible game. After acquiring Activision Blizzard, one would suspect that the Series X would be an advantage now that Microsoft owns the Call of Duty franchise should it be an exclusive. But it wouldn't make much sense for them to retreat now, would it? After Xbox 360 has the PlayStation on the ropes, some genius decided to market their successor, the Xbox One, bundled with a useless Kinect accessory for roughly 500 MSRP. And to make matters worse, during the 2013 conference, there was this emphasis on TV. TV experience. TV. TV and movies. TV. Xbox. Watch TV. 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 Watch TV. TV. TV and TV remote. TV experience. TV. 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 Sports TV. 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 Anybody? And of course, Don Matrick said this. We're able to get some form of connectivity. It's called Xbox 360. Right. So stick with 360. That's your message if you don't, well, you don't like it. If, if you have zero access yeah. to the internet, that is an offline device. I mean, yeah. seriously, when I read the blogs and thought about who's really the most impacted, there was a person who said, hey, I'm on a nuclear sub. Right. And I don't even know what it means to be on a nuclear sub, but I've got to right. imagine that it's not easy to get an internet connection. first place. With Microsoft passing their titles to PlayStation 5, this may encourage their user base to abandon the Xbox consoles in, in favor of supporting the PlayStation 5, as they would have the best of both worlds, meaning Sony exclusive games and Microsoft's goes all out with getting relegated to their consoles. In hindsight, competition is good. Well, let's not start sucking each other's dicks quite yet. That said, I'll still be supporting both the PlayStation 5 and especially the Series X.